Uh, the Kentucky House passed a bill that would have legalized medical marijuana this legislative session. That bill died in the Senate. Yesterday, Governor Bashir announced that he is considering executive action to provide access while taking some shots at the legislature. Today, I'm announcing four steps that set out a, pro a process we're gonna be engaged in over the next several months. Most of these steps are about hearing from you, the public, so that your voice uh, is heard by the executive branch, even if it's ignored uh, by the legislative branch. Riley, we didn't know how this was going to go until the waning hours of the session, uh, and there's been some public clamor about uh, medical marijuana since. Governor Bashir now laying out some actions that he hopes apparently will lead to some uh, limited legalization of medical marijuana. Yeah, I mean, the big thing about this is that he's going to create a task force. He's mm -hmm. going to create a, a panel, essentially, to to study the issue. Uh, he's also created a, an email address for people to send in their ideas and complaints uh, about the issue. So he's, he's uh, you know, in the information collecting part of it. However, this other part, he keeps on hinting that he will uh, do some sort of executive action to, to legalize medical uh, cannabis in one shape or the other. I think everybody finds that uh, very intriguing and curious because no other no other state has done something like that. Governors, you know, haven't been able to legalize uh, uh, medical cannabis in this way. Uh, generally goes through the legislature or a ballot referendum, which uh, Kentucky doesn't have the power to do. So the power really remains in uh, in the legislature, and they have been uh, pretty conservative on the issue, especially in the Senate. They haven't been too eager to take it up. But, uh, you know, this is this is this appears to be the issue that uh, that Bashir wants to, um, you know, wants to turn into a political issue. Well, John, uh, Senate President Robert Stiver says Bashir cannot legalize uh, marijuana in any way through a, an executive action. Right, and, and I think Senator Stivers is correct. Now, I got my law degree from a journalism school, so what do I know? <laughs> but I, I don't think the governor uh, on his own can change a federal uh, narcotics statute. But as Ryland said, this is a winning issue for Bashir and the Democrats. 37 states have legalized medical marijuana. Opinion polls show a clear majority of Kentuckians think it's time for us to do it. And by blocking this bill year after year, the Republican legislatures, I mean, they're on the politically popular wrong side of this. And so Bashir gets to smack him around the head and shoulders with it. Uh, Ryland, there was a, a rally on 420, April 20th, this week at the Capitol. It was wider in scope on marijuana issues, including a call for a decriminalization of possession of smaller amounts of marijuana. And some localities have gone that route already. Right, uh, and that's that's kind of the, the farthest that that issue's really been able to get in Kentucky. And granted, you will see at the legislature a lot of people advocating for, you know, more permissive uh, uh, cannabis laws. Uh, there are bills filed every year to uh, legalize recreational marijuana or to at least decriminalize it in some way. Um, those are also issues that poll pretty popularly, um, but it's, uh, it's you know, those are issues that are even more expansive than uh, than the little uh, medical marijuana bill uh, that uh, that has been unable to really move through the legislature.